My name is Rose Chiedo. I'm 46 years old. I'm a cervical cancer survivor. Jeta kwa ya sita waka bari, wa mudike, na mudhuri yesi wakwa, ena meaka keba au netano, na nira soka kongitua ni kanja. Na kanja ya ngitire mweli wa mwaza mwaka mudhiru. In Africa, cancer is considered a curse. Unfortunately, there is no basic awareness about cancer in Africa. In some parts of the continent, women with cancer are beaten, abandoned or accused of being unfaithful. Rose Chiedo and Esther Muthike are two women whose journey through cancer has been a long one. Their plight captures the predicament of many women in Africa, mainly due to the misconceptions and myths surrounding the disease. When I was diagnosed with cancer, the first thing I knew is death. Basically, that is what everyone would think. The samosa business was good because I was supplying. I used to sell one samosa at five shillings at that time. So for, 500, for 100 samosas, I was getting 500. So sometimes I was getting weak, I couldn't do it and transporting it was also a lot of work because those are so many kilos. And so eventually I stopped doing the samosa business. Of course, people still had very negative attitude towards cancer. The perception is that cancer cannot be treated. I approached my brother. He's the one I told and obviously it really shocked him. There was the fear the worry, my financial status, where the money is going to, the cost of treatment, you know. So it really bothered him. As in, we are orphans and he couldn't see anybody who is going to help other than him. So obviously, it was a blow to him because he knew that the whole burden would go to him, of which actually he took it. <laughs> No, na dada onde kwa no onde wa kwa no gokuwa no gokuwa. Dogo kibwa goko tuera wana enda gitari to 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 bua. Wira wa kwa dira ruta ga wira wa kurezia. Ngombe iswira enda gwa dira dira kne irobi. Daruara. Oswa gyo ka kiuga e na mbori ya ke ni ako dikuwa ni ako dikuwa ndi mbori yo. Ni ndo ni dira enda ka Kenya tai. Tondo to tuwe Kenya tai. From the beginning to the end of my treatment, it was just sad. Because you don't have money, you're depending on support. The queues are so long in the hospital. It's like you're fighting a losing battle. But I realized it was not a losing battle when I finished my treatment. And that is when now I started fighting to survive. Merck, more than a patient, has empowered Rose Chiedo to grow her jewellery business that is giving her financial freedom and independence. As for Esther Muthike, Merck has provided her with a cow that is helping her to regain her independence and enjoy a healthy and productive life. Uh, what Merck has done is really going to help me to be able to improve my business from small scale to large scale. I make my jewellery at home and I sell it to my neighbors and friends. 
before my treatment, I was making samosas. It reached a point I couldn't do it on my own. So basically the business was coming down and down. The jewelry business, it's something that I can do at my convenience. You know, I can even carry some beads wherever I am. I go and sit anywhere and I do my bead work. I would really like to thank Mark and I really appreciate them because this will, will really help me to improve my life. And it will also help me to use better quality of materials because now I'll be able to afford to buy better quality. Ge kundi ge kia nengera ngombe nenge nenge nige senge tia maisa makwa nige senge tia maisa makwa ona anga kia ona nindiro ona wega na angi iwe wega ge kige kundi ge nete ne kia muno ni ondoa kumbwa ngombe gani area na angona area ya kuendia gani tambia na angera na ndira si gani taka adu ge kige kundi nenge nete ne kia muno. Eta wawa mboi ni ndo wako dakara. Ndira nyure ria ria wa mboi. Nge nyure ria no ndire kuboya. Ona kuma mwede nyosu. Wambo yokire. Kero kongira mokogu. Nembo ya rege kundi. Uguke nyonere wa mboi. Kyo nere unge. E nendo rethie. Ndemoro waruni. I'm not a patient anymore. I am a survivor and I'm a victor. <laughs>